And the story continues. As he was running in the middle of the jungle, he saw the pack of zombie toads getting closer to him. But Toadsworth was getting tired because he was running for miles. So his feet gives out and he leans up against a tree. I can't believe it, this is it for me. All of our warriors of the Mushroom Kingdom are infected. And then an unlikely hero shows up. Donkey Kong? Oh boy, I'm happy to see you. Donkey Kong looks over his shoulder and he gives him a look to run. And on his final will to live, Toadsworth makes a run for it. Donkey Kong started fighting all the zombie toads. He was taking them down one by one. Donkey Kong was unstoppable, but more kept on coming. DK felt like there was no end to this, but at the end, he won. He was overwhelmed and hurt. DK was glad it was over. And then he heard several footsteps. DK wasn't going out without a fight. So with his last strength, DK tried to do the impossible, but he was overpowered. I have to find somebody that can help me stop all this madness. And there he was. Wah, get out of my way. The hero that Toadsworth needed. Sometimes a hero can come in all shapes and sizes. But meanwhile, Kudo's forces is getting stronger by the minute. So that was the story behind this custom. And before we take a closer look at him, I just wanna do a quick announcement. Uh, I'm going to be giving some of my uh, original art that I did for these videos. So yeah, this is the, the, the drawings that I did before I imported them to Photoshop and colored them in. Uh, so if you want one, just message me on Instagram or I'm going to make a Facebook for this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, just message me message me there and you know, just send me your address and I'll, I'll give you one. And I'm also going to be signing these. Not that my signature is worth anything, but you know, you might never know. Uh, so with that said, let's take a closer look at this custom. All right, so here's my zombie Donkey Kong. And I had a lot of fun making this custom. I actually had a lot more fun making this guy than my other Nintendo zombie figures. Because making this custom, it was kind of challenging to modify the teeth to make him look sharp. And in case you're wondering, yes, these are both the same Donkey Kong. So pretty much what I did is I painted Donkey Kong green like my other uh, Nintendo zombie figures and with an X-Acto knife I cut in between the teeth to make them look sharp. It was a little bit challenging doing this but it was it was a lot easier once I drilled back here in the back of the head for I can make the brain and I used epoxy scope to make the brain and the tongue. And of course I painted the fur black just for I can keep the scheme of my uh, zombie line. And one of the challenges when making this custom is that I needed to make a gap in between the shoulders and underneath the armpit. That way when you move the joint, it doesn't scrape the paint. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this Donkey Kong right here, it doesn't have much of a gap as this Donkey Kong. Let me move his, um, his arm. That way you can see that gap that I'm talking about. All right, as you can see, you can see the huge gap right here. And again, the reason I did that is because that way the paint doesn't scrape off. So yeah, I like how he turned out. He's pretty creepy. But I like that. I like that he uh, he turned out creepy. <laughs> when he's sitting like this, it kind of reminds me of the Golden Freddy when he's sitting down on the floor. But yeah, now I'm going to do a quick comparison with my other zombie figures. So yeah, here they are. So let me know in the comments which other Nintendo figure you want me to turn into a zombie because I'm having a lot of fun with these guys. I like uh, making the comic book on the beginning of the video. It's a lot of fun. So now I'm gonna cut to a few pictures. Alright, so I put my Donkey Kong with the rest of my uh, custom figures.
But anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate that. And and again, if you want some of my art, just go ahead and uh, uh, message me on Instagram or Facebook. The links will be in the description below uh, or in the comment section as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, again, thanks thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.